take that shield off, you will feel scratchy, especially when the anesthetic has worn off. We give you drops to use, two types of anti-inflammatory drops to like just calm everything down as well as lubricant drops so that you can put it in and just like smoothen that whole area so that you don't feel it as much when you blink. What you might see when you look in the mirror straight afterwards is like a real red spot. It's like you think like you're looking worse now than before the surgery. That's doctor's anesthetic and that's just that's just a bruise. So that's going to clear, you'll see as a bruise um, on your arm when you've hit yourself or on your leg, it's first it's blue, then it becomes yellow, and then it slowly goes away. So don't get a fright when you see that, that is a normal, some people bruise easier than others, so that's why some people have like a nice red spot in, in the eye, and others will have it done and say, my eye didn't look like that after the surgery, why is yours looking like that? And that's just because your tissue bruised a little bit easier. You will ask me, can I develop a, a pterygium again? Now, there is a chance that the pterygium can uh, regrow. If that happens, we need to see how severe it is, can we calm it down with just drops, or um, do we need to do a surgical procedure again? It's unlikely for it to regrow, but in some patients, the, it's just so aggressive that it wants to, to regrow. Just to mention again on indications or reasons for, for removing the, the, um, the pterygium. As I said, one, when you want it out because of a cosmetic reason. Two, when doctor is suspicious about the tissue and the way the tissue behaves around the area. And the third one is if when it is already onto the colored part of your eye, because then it can start to pull onto your cornea and that can cause your vision to distort. So we want you not to, to leave it until it's like right into the, the colored area of your eye. Um, afterwards, we'll ask you to use drops for two to three weeks. We'll ask you to come for a follow up in a week's time, not the following day after surgery. Um, just for us to make sure that you don't have an infection, that the bruise is starting to clear and that you are more comfortable.